We're launching across ABC News to call attention to another crisis in America, hunger here at home. Millions of people across this country simply don't have enough to eat. Nearly everywhere, take a look. The areas in brightest red on this map are where the hunger crisis is most severe. And the organization Feeding America has given us an exclusive first look at stunning new findings. One in six Americans, and one out of every four children, start each day not knowing if they will have the food they need. ABC's David Muir met the families behind those figures. The McKimmons girls in Arkansas and their nightly prayer before dinner, grateful for the meal. And 10-year-old Jazeer in Philadelphia with his tiny camera and a nearly empty refrigerator. As you can see, they were missing food. In every corner of the country, a portrait of hidden hunger now emerging. The recession has pushed 2.4 million more children into poverty. 17 million children are now food insecure, meaning their parents often don't know where the next meal is coming from. Simply put, one in four American children don't have enough food. In Arkansas, Dawn and Michael McKimmons have moved into a trailer to save money. She works at a hotel. He delivers pizzas, whatever it takes, still not enough to feed the family. I hear my kids ask me, Mommy, what's for dinner? And I sit there at times, and it's like, I sit there and just kind of pace around back and forth, thinking to myself, oh my gosh, what is for dinner? Five dollars. Five dollars for a box now of crackers. And in Philadelphia, 10-year-old Jazeer, oh, whose mother is trying to finish her degree to get a good job. He knows when it's the end of the month when the food stamps have run out. When's the toughest time for you? When I eat and my mom doesn't eat. She sacrifices. Before the recession, 26 million Americans were on food stamps. Now more than 46 million, feeding one in seven Americans. You know there are others out there. Ooh, ooh. All over the country. And when you grow up? I would like to be a senator. So this is where you walk to get food sometimes? Yes. He tells us the right aid. That's two forty nine. Yes, but at the market it is like one nineteen. Is there a grocery store around? Uh, it's down there, Walmart. Walmart is that way. But there's no supermarket that's closer. Uh, no. At St. Christopher's Hospital in Philadelphia, it is ground zero for hunger. So you've got a family here now. The ER can see up to two hundred fifty children a day, and up to half of them are hungry. They don't have the growth that they should. Is that the Hulk? Are you going to be as big as the Hulk someday? Tom Lesher takes care of his grandson. They're not hungry, but worried about what's coming. Out of a job for 18 months. I don't know what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Can't find a job. And that future senator knows that. What would you do to help them? Food stamps, job applications. That's a big agenda already. Yeah, I would do that, though. And that little guy means what he says. In fact, in the last year, writing a letter to his senator for help for his family so that I can eat to be big and strong so I can become senator one day. And that's one thing we found as we traveled this country, that couple in Arkansas, both with jobs, Jazeera's mother going back to school to get a better job, and still these families having a hard time putting food on the table. George, that number is worth repeating. One in four American children now from families that simply don't know sometimes where that next meal is coming from. That is just way too high. Okay, David, thanks very much. We're going to have a lot more on those people taking action across America, neighbors helping neighbors tomorrow night. ABC's Steve Osinsami has more on some real American heroes ending hunger here at home. We also want you to know how you can help. You can text FEED to 50555 and reply yes to help get food to the children and families in your community and across the country. And we have more ideas at our website, abcnews.com help.